And hello everybody, I'm Jefferson Mendoza, reporting live in Hong Kong. Uh, as part of Pride Month series, we are going to dive into the world of male beauty pageants. And I'm with Mr. John Raspado, who is the current Mr. Gay World 2017. John is from the Philippines, and he is also the first in the country to win the coveted title. So John, welcome to Hong Kong. Well, thank you. Thank you for welcoming me here. Is this the first time coming here? No, actually, I, it's like my third time. Mm, okay, so the uh, Mr. Gay World 2017 just wrapped up. I want to ask, why did you decide to join the pageant world to begin with? Well, actually, it was more like a living with a purpose. So before it was just like coming out and then uh, fighting for LGBT rights and afterwards, it comes with a purpose. And the purpose is like, having to attain this um, LGBT rights and our quest for equality. Uh, I want to ask about the pressures of winning the title. Uh, what, what are the pressures that, you've, pressures that you face now that you did not have before winning the title? Oh, before in the local pageant, it was like the pressure was on me because I won a national contest on TV. It's uh, the I Am Poké. Uh, segment of um, it showtime in ABS CBN and I was the only one with a title so people already are assuming that I should win or if I lose that'd be a big disgrace and now it was like more of the coming out part and then it's like conquering my fears on the stage people the crowd and the mic of course and then afterwards I felt something was missing. So I joined Mr. Gay World Philippines. And afterwards, the mission came with uh, the insights of HIV. And it was very alarming. So um, my quest for the mission and vision of uh, Mr. Gay World Philippines is that to it's like eradicate uh, discrimination for stereotypes and you know, people, some sort of like that. Um, and then uh, to know more and about uh, giving awareness to people about HIV. I'm, I want to ask that question though, is about the cases in the Philippines. Cases of HIV AIDS are rampant in the yes, Philippines, in the quite country. High, and I had a chance to interview, uh, uh, what's, uh, um, Excuse me, his name is Ronavin Garcia Pactacan of Love Yourself. Love Yourself Inc. Yeah. Yeah, so I interviewed him last year in 2016, and he says that from 2005 and on, 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 onwards, the cases have risen. What about you as a Filipino and as an ambassador mm -hmm. of Mr. Gay World? Uh, how do you deal with this crisis right now? Well, actually, we have gone through some events like um, the Incognito, we encourage um, people. Ex especially the youngsters to um, have uh, testing, free testing for um, HIV, to know what their status about HIV and um, getting people understand what is HIV and AIDS. Okay. What about, you said mentioned earlier as well, the discrimination within the LGBTQ community. How do we eradicate it or at the very least create a more tolerant society within the LGBTQ community? Well, it's quite sad, though in the Philippines, it's like uh, they have groups for lesbians, they have groups for transgender. And uh, last year, it was like the gay pride in the Philippines. It's like there is a gay pride, uh, pride in Quezon City. There is a gay pride in Marikina. And, uh, and right now, they are opting for just one united gay pride. And it's going to happen um, sometime June 24 in Marikina. Okay, all right. So as you can see, there is no such thing as one pride. There are it's more regional or yes. citywide kind of approach and organizations. Now I want to ask, going back to your uh, head leading to the Mr. Gay World 2017, I'm intrigued by your entry video, and I'm sure it can be relatable to mm -hmm. a lot of people watching this. It's about uh, you growing up in a broken family. The question I want to ask is, how has the male figure in your life shaped you into the man that you are today? Well, living in a broken family, it's like there's nobody there to help you understand what things you are going through and that being raised by your 
grandfather, grandmother, and it's like it's not really that close. Unlike if you were, uh, you have someone, your mother, who could uh, mother or father who could actually describe to you what you are going through, and then the conf the confusion of uh, your sexuality comes in. Then afterwards, uh, it was quite. A rigorous um, process for me because I have to go somewhere else to find myself. How did you find yourself? Let me ask you that question. Because oh. I mean, in the Philippines, the um, homosexuality is not seen as a good thing. It's more of a negative approach. How did you deal with that? Well, I had a girlfriend once, and we had it for like four years. And then afterwards, when I went to the city in Manila, it's like everything. It's just been a race and it's very confusing and it's like in knowing what your compatibility levels for a relationship is and that I found a solace uh, through a man and that's where I understand my sexuality. Mm -hmm. um, I want to ask about just leading up to the your journey as a Mr. Gay World 2017. Mm -hmm. Any advice I want to ask any advice, anyone who wants to be like you here in Hong Kong or leading up to this point in your life? Well, the most practical way is to be yourself, of course, to come out. When you come out, uh, things will just follow and uh, it opens the door to opportunities. Unlike if you're like just in a closet and uh, it just it limits your skills and talents and everything just is shut down. Okay. So, Mr. Gay World 2017, John is here for purpose as well. He's here as part of the bid for Gay Games 2022. Yes. So, Hong Kong is bidding for Gay Games 2022 and he's here in support of that. So, how did that come about? Well, actually, I was invited by Mr. Kenny Kwok. And then, um, they have to see it like uh, since Paris is going to hold the Gay Olympics in next year. And then, they bid for uh, the Gay Games 2022. Um, the other, we we are in the short list, and that uh, mostly it's the U.S. and the Mexicans who are bidding, and we are third. And it's quite nice because uh, Hong Kong has um, held the Olympics here, and that um, we like to showcase the openness when it comes to um, sports equality and of course there's no di discrimination in sports and that um, Hong Kong is like the most suitable place for the uh, gay games 2022 because it's like the open it's like open and unlike if you're going to the US like you have to get a visa for that and since Hong Kong is like the center uh, one of the center um, business um, here in the uh, Asia it's like it's so open and like we are expecting our thousands of um, attendees going to it. Now that you are the current title holder of Mr. Gay World, what is next for you? Well, of course, we are now looking for the next uh, Mr. Gay World Philippines. And the delegates would come from all around the um, Philippines. And then afterwards, we are meeting like, hopefully, um, hopefully would like to bring home the pageant in the Philippines. Wow, that's a big, big monumentous task for yeah. you to, to bring that in the Philippines. Um, any last message, any mess anything that you want that uh, I did not ask you that you wish to partake and send it to anyone watching this video? Well, of course, I advise everybody to join um, the testing for HIV. Well, of course, it's very rampant right now. You have to know your um, HIV status if you are very active and I would like to um, give out a short advocacy as well if I may it's called the I Heart LGBTQI it's an abbreviation for I it stands for image modernization H is for healthy living and that's why I'm here so it involves um, healthy lifestyle healthy mind body soul and spirit and it uh, one way of going through that it's through sports the E is for equality, A is for acceptance, R is for responsible sexual behavior, and T is for testing and treatment of HIV. How can people uh, get this information, John? 
um, you could access it through my Facebook or the Mr. Gay World Philippines um, Facebook page as well. When you said uh, your Facebook, is, is it your Facebook page, John Resp uh, Fernandez Raspado? Yeah, I have two accounts and uh, one Facebook uh, page. Okay, all right. So if you have enjoyed this video, kindly like, share, and write your comments down below. Oh, yes. I'm Jefferson Mendoza, reporting live with Mr. Gay World 2017, John Raspado. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you.